Hi, I'm Kanagaraj, Faculty for Agriculture and Botany. In this video, we are uh, going to discuss about the basics of answer rating for Botany Optional. In my first video, I have given introduction about Botany Optional and uh, the list of reference books for Botany. The link is given in the description. You can watch it later. Right. So many of you ask this question, sir, whether it is easy to score high marks in Botany Optional. Can we cross more than 300 in botany? There's a magic number, right? So if you get around 300, then definitely we'll get service. Okay, right. So um, the answer is yes, we can score uh, high marks in botany, but it's also possible only in the, uh, the pure science optionals like botany, zoology, and uh, geology. Because there are a lot of disadvantages. Most of the questions are direct questions. And the questions are directly from the syllabus only. So all you have to do is, you have to complete the syllabus. You have to prepare proper notes for the entire topic in the syllabus. And if you give correct answer for all those questions, definitely you will get high marks. But that is also the disadvantage. So you have to work hard. Okay, at least it takes four to five months for botany optional to complete the entire botany optional. So the syllabus is a little bit vast. Moreover, uh, you need a making up capacity. So you have to prepare proper answer for each and every topic in the syllabus. We cannot skip a single word in the syllabus. But in case of a humanity subject, if, even if you don't know the answer, you, at least you can manage. But in the pure science optionals, that is not possible. If you don't know the answer, then nothing. Okay, we cannot write anything. So we cannot manage. So here, the extremes are possible in uh, pure science optionals. We get a zero mark. Okay, if you don't know the answer, we'll get zero marks. At the same time, we can also score more than seven to eight marks out of 10. That is also possible. Whereas in humanity subjects, it's not possible. On average, we can get for a 10 marks, we can get only 6.56, that's all, right? So uh, the answer rating strategy is very simple. Uh, since the questions are direct questions, so if you follow the basics of answer rating, definitely we can cross more than 300. So the first and foremost thing uh, to score high marks in any optional, you have to complete the question paper. That's important. Okay. And the next thing, uh, since it's a pure sense optional, we have to give correct answer. So correct definition, correct illustration. So they are important. And then you have to provide enough content. So there are... Uh, five marks, 10 marks, 15 marks, 20 marks, right? So they are giving uh, for 10 marks question, two pages, and uh, 15 marks and 20 marks, they are giving three pages. Sometimes for 20 marks, they are also giving four pages, okay? So you have to, you need enough content to fill those pages. So for that, you have to refer proper study material, source material, and you have to prepare notes for those topics, okay? And then finally, the most important thing, presentation. So mere knowing the content is not important. So you have to provide this content with the proper structure. So organized presentation is very, very important with the proper structure and a neat presentation without overrating. So they're all important. So regarding the organized presentation, uh, proper structure means you have to provide proper introduction, the main body, and then conclusion. So these things are important. So if you follow these steps, then definitely we can score high marks. At the same time, so we have to follow, okay, in the, for a pure sense optionals, okay. So we can use the flow charts and the diagrams are very, very important. Okay, so the diagram should be, we have to draw sincerely. At the same time, we can use colors, color pens. Okay, at the same time, uh, the, the, the diagram should be uh, scientifically correct, okay. So don't draw any vague diagrams. And then uh, in the botany optional, there are, uh, you can see the contribution of scientists. So especially the Indian botanist, you have to mention the name of Indian botanist and the scientists, that's important, okay. Right, so let's see one uh, model question. So this is the last year question, use of upper mixes in plant breeding. It's a compulsory question in the 10 marks question. So you have to write it for two pages, right? So how to present answer for this question? See here, uh, in the introduction part, 
directly the, the question is about application of upper mixes in plant breeding okay so for that we have to give a small introduction so first we have to define so here for a botany optional for a pure science optional we no need to worry about introduction part because for many topics we can directly give definition as an introduction so here also first we can define what is upper mixes and then the term upper mixes was introduced by winkler right so these facts are important that will give you extra marks right and then here we can also add in the introduction part the different types of upper mixes through a flow chart so no need to explain elaborately just we can give so the various uh, types of upper mixes apogamy apo spori adventive embryani and then uh, parthenogenesis so these are the various uh, types of upper mixes and then we can come to the main part so the introduction off page and the remaining one and a half pages we can explain elaborate about the various applications okay there are three main applications of upper mixes in agriculture in plant breeding uh, fixation of heterosis production of homozygous line and development of the hybrids okay so these are the major applications of upper mixes in agriculture so we can elaborate these concepts okay so this is a the whole answer for this question here we can also add conclusion so in the conclusion part we can uh, give the challenges okay despite these advantages as applications there are some challenges with upper mixes in the plant breeding okay it takes some time to apply the upper mixes concept widespread in in plant breeding okay so we can uh, write in this manner so if you give the full answer with the proper uh, content definitely we can score more than 78 marks out of 10 okay so hope i hope this video is useful for you and the next video uh, we will discuss one by one the syllabus part and where we have to refer and how to approach each part of the syllabus